having come from a family of theologians, which I am not, um, I understand the kingdom of God through um, many different ways in their, in their wisdom. But when I try and honestly boil it down to me, it is so huge and it is so simple. When I started teaching, um, I was teaching um, English language arts, so vocabulary was a big part of that. And so for my middle school students, I would talk about regular words and super words. And regular words were those things that you said it and it was just kind of one thing. There wasn't an interpretation, it was just a thing. Super words were those things that you could get a whole bunch of different interpretations and different meanings. So when I think of the kingdom of God, that's a super word. That is one of those things that has so many different meanings. And I can hear my uh, papa until the time that he went to heaven talking about the kingdom of God as a crimson thread through the entire Bible. He would say that you can see it woven from Genesis all the way to Revelation. And so the kingdom of God isn't something that even just came about when Jesus came to the earth. It was something that was from the very, very beginning, which was God. And so when I think about the kingdom of God, to me, it is any place where God is. The kingdom of God, to me, is absolutely everywhere because nothing supersedes that.